and as I'm trying to push up, I, I a little bit of shit comes out. I take that bottle out back, there's no one nearby, I just scoop it out and put it into the baggie, wrap it back up and put it back into the bottle. And that's and how it you- f***ing work. Okay, hold on. If this was just a month ago, if anyone at your school watches this video, well, I mean, it, they will know, oh my god, sh bottle Eric. Chat, how is it going? I'm joined tonight by literally XQC. Can you give me a welcome to the jungle? Welcome, 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 welcome to the jungle. jungle. Uh, did chat, Luke AFK, you know him. What? Hi. <laughs> oh. Chat, today we're doing cringe confessions. The show where you tell me the worst thing that's ever happened to you that you don't want anyone to know about. You tell it to me in front of everyone else and we all laugh at the same time at you. Is there one like you're feeling in particular? What is this nut one? What is that? Nut on teacher's couch? My Spanish teacher at the time was my favorite teacher and she trusted me a lot. So what I would do is I would go into her room after school and I would do my homework. What would happen is obviously she can't stay there for the entire day. She's like, hey, I'm leaving on your way out just lock up my room when i got my first girlfriend i brought her to the classroom just to hang out while i did my homework oh and god she she has a couch in the classroom the shittiest part is i am long gone from that school i know the couch is still there uh, the couch is still there i didn't nut on the couch but i nutted on the couch oh okay so this is one of those clickbait titles i nutted oh. while i was on the couch mm. but i think the shittiest part was Think of like the most ninth grader way to nut, and that's what <laughs> happened. <laughs> no, you, did I, you pre jack? I'm ashamed to admit it. <laughs> no shot. Dude, he lived like a 14 year old's fantasy, like getting laid at school, and he pre jacked. Oh, stabbed a kid? Hold on. I gotta clear my suspicion that this yeah. is a clickbait. Listen here, stabbed a kid at camp. If you didn't get arrested, I'm already bored. It was it was an accident. Tell your fucking story. Kick Jesus this guy out. Christ. Get him no, out. No, no, let's let's Oh, okay. So we're cleaning up the tent, or he's cleaning it up. I already did my side, so I was whittling a stick with a knife. You already had a sharp object, but you decided, no, I need to. Yeah, the kid keeps walking in front of it, and I'm like, dude, it might slip and hit you. Oh, you're an um, asshole. You're a fucking asshole. Foreshadowing. Yeah. <laughs> foreshadowing. Um, so this is a premeditated murder, dude. Foreshadowing. <laughs> your honor, so, I was foreshadowing my crime. There's a knot in the stick, and I'm trying to get it out. So I'm like pushing on it really hard, and the kid walks in front, and right when I did it, it slipped, and it went into like his side. What? So we're walking down, and I'm getting a ton of weird looks from people, and I'm like, dude, I know you just got stabbed but like we need to hurry this up dude you're such an asshole hey bro i know i stabbed you can you like act less stabbed please <laughs> i'm super horny right now okay what about had sex in the what had sex in the school bathroom Ooh. what the all right so like back in like eighth ninth grade so uh, like last year <laughs> no <laughs> He's like, hey, come meet me in the bathroom. And he brought me into the handicap stall. We, you know, did the thing at age fucking 14 and I regret it. But, um, okay, so at the time I was, I was still not sure about my identity, but I'm, I'm, I'm a girl. I'm Honestly, sorry. I'm turned on more than anything else. <laughs> what? No. We don't know how old they are now. Oh. Stole $3,000 from Minecraft kid. First of all, you're a fucking asshole. So how, how did this happen? I've been a, a, a mod on a Minecraft server. The staff team was like a decent size and we were all investigating this guy who was being really weird with kids. It's just anytime you put eight year olds and 30 year olds in the same video game. Yeah, like, it, it, it didn't go well, but when someone frustrates you, it just kind of happens like that. <laughs> What the uh, hell was that? Is, is he getting spawn camped? You can pick someone else. I think I'll come back later. <laughs> right? Dude! Yo, can you hear me? Oh, shit self in PE forced to loom? So I am a junior in high school, right? I am taking what's called BFS. It's basically, it's weightlifting. We lift okay. weights, right? Again, I, I'm six foot seven, so squats suck because you have to go hella low and I can't do that for whatever reason. Right. And my form sucks because I've never lifted, a, I've never squatted a weight before. And as I'm trying to push up, I, I a little bit of shit comes out. Just a tad, just enough, you know? And it turns my teacher and say hey can i fill my water bottle up um i take that bottle out back there's no one nearby i just scoop it out and put it into the baggie wrap it back up and put it back into the bottle <laughs> and everything everything's peachy everything's good you know I, you I didn't find sick. a trash can yeah the you only didn't... thing that's not peachy about nope. this is you nope. still have okay. the bottle here's, here's you, the you're thing. carrying your poop why are you keeping it <laughs> but the thing oh. is i get into the locker room right and i'm on autopilot and so i go to the fountain and i fill it up what? <laughs> and I, I don't notice until I sit down and then I smell it and the kid next to me smells it. 
and I see the look in his eyes, like, oh, fuck. And uh, so I look him dead in the eyes, and I stand up. And I'm lucky, because he's pretty short, and again, I'm, I'm six foot seven, and he just has fear in his eyes. And I do that for about 15 or so seconds, so I know and that's and how it you, fucking and worked. That's yeah. how you got off? It worked? And, did it, and no one like knew? A month ago. Okay, um, hold on. If this was just a month ago, if anyone at your school watches this well, video, I mean, it, they will know, oh my god, shit bottle Eric. Oh my god. If we're gonna do a shit bottle, let's follow it up with an appropriate shit bottle. Number two. Femboy right. shit bottle incident. So this all starts with my buddy. He did give me permission to say his name. His name is Marriott. He met this chick in a Discord dating server. Ugh. Long story short, we ended this up all talking. This is a horrible start. It turns out they got obsessed with me and at times would sneak off and start getting off. In this case, they would be jacking off and shoving a bottle up their ass. Okay, hold on. Whoa, bro, stop, stop, bro, stop, 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 bro, stop, stop, bro, stop, 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 stop. How old, are they? How, they old are they? How old are they? How old are they? How old are they? They were 23, I think it was. They were my age. They were 23. Yes. Caught friend jerking off in VC. How does that happen? How does that happen? Come here, caught friend jerking off. So how did it happen? All right, so me and my friend were looking at memes. He was streaming it through Discord. Well, we find this one, like, no horny meme, right? Where it's this fucking porn or whatever. And then it cuts to fucking punching the camera. He's like, huh, I wonder what the sauce is for that. So I find it for him. If you send your boy some sauce and he <laughs> nuts, you gave him that hand. Yeah. Hi, thankfully there is no advertisement today. Today's video is brought to you yet again by Manscaped. You know, the ball shaving company. But today, we're not here to talk about your nuts. No, no butts, no nuts. I'm here to talk about Manscaped's new ultra premium hair and skin care collection. And just look at it, how pretty is that? All these metal, solid, just manly cans. Clink, clink. Clink. Fucking love cans. Starting off strong, you got your unordinary two-in-one shampoo and conditioner. This is not that cheap shit that you get at the drugstore. It's good for your skin. You can eat it. I wouldn't. It lathers on really nice and thick, and it leaves your hair not greasy, just... It's nice. After that, we have the official Manscaped body wash. And this stuff, it's like, finally, I can wash my balls without them smelling like roses after. The biggest thing for me is that it's infused with aloe vera, which is gonna moisturize your skin, and an exfoliator, which is gonna actually, you know, clean the dirt off of it. Next up is the body spray. And I know what you're thinking, body spray? But I will tell you, Manscaped figured it out. They figured out how to make a body spray. Honestly, you should think of this more as like a body mist. The smell is more subtle. The purpose is more so to hydrate and keep you fresh. Can't forget this nice little can of deodorant they give you. Now it's a clear gel deodorant and it has that nice scent of citrus. What is that? Sandback jasmine? Ooh. Vetiver? Manscaped finished the bundle off with Manscaped official lip balm because there's nothing manlier than having soft, supple lips. And I'm not joking. All of this stuff is paraben, gluten, and cruelty-free. But the whole purpose here is just make body maintenance a little bit easier. Man maintenance. man tenance. Thank you, Manscaped, for covering me from head to toe. And that sounds weird. You put it in the script. I didn't write that. If you like any of this stuff and you want to check it out, head on over to manscaped.com and use code WEEZ to get 20% off your order plus free international shipping. Click that link in the description. Thank you, Manscaped. And uh, enjoy the rest of the video. What is this? What is shit glove? Shit glove! Invite to speak. When I was like 16, I went to rehab because I, I was abusing drugs. So me and this other kid were like sitting on the couch and John John comes through the bathroom and we were like talking about like how you can get high off of huffing your own shit. Fucking Jenko. John John hurt. And so he comes back like 20 minutes later. He's like, yo, and he peeps through the bathroom. He's like, yo, come here. So we go in the bathroom. We're like, what? And he's like, yo, I got a glove. And we're like, what are you going to do with the glove? And he's like, y'all already know what I'm gonna do with the Fuck no! <laughs> Fuck, Fuck no! Yeah, shit in the glove! <laughs> I'm not shitting in the glove. It's not my glove. That does not affect me. Shit in the glove. I want to see it. So so we, we give him like pointers on how to do it because he's like confused on how to do it. You were shit coaching? Were you backseat we were shitting? Like, just, so I'm like, just leave it outside. Like put it underneath the, like a bush because we live in Florida. It's going to ferment really fast and it was in the summer. The thing about John John is that he got in a fight before he could huff it. Basically, before I got discharged, I remember like looking all over the property and we could not find that glove because he got kicked out after that fight that glove is still on the property somewhere oh my god this just reminds me of there jacob is. i i have a shit glove downstairs right now in the garage i know you do not i took the dogs for a walk like three weeks ago and i picked up one of their turds in like the bag i wrapped it up airtight and everything and i sat it on the ground and i remember putting a box next to it and it hid itself behind the box and it's still down there right now 
You're, you're telling me we have Jankum on the property? This I'm sorry, officer. It. It's, it's for personal use. <laughs> What is this? Pissed on my what? Pissed on my PC. Medical reason. To a bit of backstory, I'm trans, and when I turned 16, the doctors told me, "Okay, you can go on uh, HRT now, or you can come in a jar and this is this is most this is most of my viewers, by the way." They sent me home with uh, a jar to come in. I I, I I got set up, and I was you know I was I was doing my thing, and then it I felt something. I'm like, oh, I released it. Uh, and it wasn't cum, um, <laughs> it was actually uh, pee pee. What? And it went on my floor and a little bit of it, computer. You're like, here it is, here it comes. Step two. Kidnapped and pushed off cliff, do I believe that? Were you actually kidnapped by real kidnappers? Please, just let me get there first. <laughs> All righty then. Me and my friends went to celebrate my birthday. So we went like right the way up to the top of Scotland and it was getting really late at night and we were drunk. We had a bit too much and I was like, fuck, I need to go piss. Uh, so I went behind a bush, yeah. And this man or whoever they were came out behind me, grappled me, basically and like shoved his hand in my mouth so i couldn't make a noise and just kind of like yanked me away oh yeah basically. you were you were getting absolutely kidnapped that is a kidnapping this bitch has put his whole ass like hand in me like I, it was fucking manky it was disgusting and, um... <laughs> like how you can tell you only consume american media <laughs> because you said bitch ass and manky whatever the fuck that means <laughs> And he just like stood there for like five minutes saying nothing. He didn't say a word this entire time. He didn't even make a noise when I was chawing at him. Was this a person? Yes. Are you sure? I got pushed off of this cliff and I tumbled and then like halfway down it, impaled. Impaled by what? By a stalagmite. Fucking, it was like sticking oh. out of the ground. It went into my small intestine and my colon. Hooray. Then I just kind of like lay on my left side and just lay there and scream. Where were your friends at? They didn't realize that I went missing. This all happened within like 20 minutes. Fuck your friends. You have yeah. the worst friends ever. I hope you show them this video and I hope they feel terrible. My friends would come looking for me really fast. Jacob, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> I would have fucked. They, I don't have any friends. And so went, what did they say about the fucking guy? Did they see him? Nothing happened. He, he escaped. He just what? Nothing. escaped. Dude, okay. Skinwalker, Did, Bigfoot. He just stood at the cliff and then went back to being homeless. He just kind of fucked off. God damn it. I killed my hamster Dude. intentionally. All right, what happened? Okay, so my grandma got a hamster and his name is Mitzi. I used to play with him a lot, but I wasn't allowed to take him out of the cage. So <laughs> I took him out of the cage and I, I was playing rough with him because I was just little. I'm For trying reason, to imagine how you play rough with a hamster. <laughs> okay, I would like drop him and yeah, I would hope he would like fall and land correctly. I would yeah. drop him far though. So would you ever notice that you would drop it? It's like, man, it's not walking like he used to walk. So I put him through my shirt and he was like running around in my shirt and all of a sudden I just hear a plop and he's not there anymore and he's not in my shirt. And then like eventually I pick him up and like he starts freaking out my hand. He starts like gnawing on my hand and then he just dies. He just passes out and he flops around. So I put it back in his cage and I didn't tell anyone. Are we the first then, people that you told about this? Yes. What? Oh, Wait, do you still have the hamster? No, it's dead. So, so to recap, I... we're gonna have to full recap. Taj is not gonna go back and find the clip. Is, is he getting spawn camped? You can pick someone else. I think I'll come back later. <laughs> so this guy pissed me off. I, I was a funny Minecraft mod. He invited me to help him win $3,000. I ended up inviting over like 100 people to do it for me, and I ended up winning that money. This guy, I, feel, I just feel so bad for him. So least if you have any recommendations for like a gift in the $200 range <laughs> you're taking literally a united states approach to race reparations yeah. with this fucking guy <laughs> aunt and uncle are cousins so yeah the great grandparents they separated with two kids created their own families and this is all happening on my mom's side of the family i don't know my dad's side of the family at all i gotta draw a family tree real quick is that okay <laughs> yeah grandma and grandpa right here yes and, and they had and, two kids right okay a and, and b. b so what happens and next each of them gets separated and takes a kid so mom's sister gets introduced to this guy they start dating and then they start having sex and then eventually they accidentally get pregnant and they're like well okay i guess why not so they actually get married while they're pregnant but then the baby dies in the womb and it's really tragic they went to a bunch of doctors to figure out what had happened and the doctors started taking tests and then eventually sat them down and went so we ran a couple tests you guys are cousins People. they had no they idea they were the they were no <sighs> idea zero idea oh that's 
so sad. Let's uh, find you. Side. I want to narrow down you. So the A, they had how many? Two kids. Two. They made my mom and my uh, aunt. All right, yes. I'm gonna circle your aunt in green, and then you were born from your mother. All right. You're putting the aunt on a weird side because that B is eventually going to loop around the D. That's so the B, they only had one kid. They. they oh push. boy, they yeah, literally, literally, <laughs> literally, dude. Wait, no. no are you serious? D. These are first cousins. Yes. It, no, because A and B basically never met because E, he swapped around adoption homes. Like, e that's crazy. I'm sorry that happened, but you're basically fucking your half sister. Are they still together? <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh. I thought there was gonna be a happy ending. Did enemy's brother, that's base. This takes place in about, mm, I wanna say seventh grade, not completely sure. Mm. Around that timeline, you know. I know this kid since fourth grade, don't like this kid. This occurred in the seventh grade? What? Dude. Yeah. Okay. Wait, Dude, when I, when, I, no, when I was in the fucking seventh grade, I was playing Fable 3 on the Xbox 360. It was it was one of my favorite games of all fucking time. It was a sequel to Fable 2. It wasn't as good as its predecessor. You were fucking in the seventh grade? I mean, what can I say? I don't I, know, what can I, you say? I didn't even know how to fat back then. You should be ashamed of yourself because you seem proud of it now. It's funny because I still talk to him. Fatherless. <laughs> Where's your dad at? I don't know. <laughs> Fatherless behavior. And it's even funnier because I'm pretty sure this person is watching this stream right now. My no. fucking God. Thank you so much. I don't need to hear get anything him, else. Y'all need Jesus, a father, therapy, a blunt, and you need to get the fuck out and go the fuck to bed. Chat, what an excellent edition of Cringe Confessions this was. I'm so sorry, other participants. Next time we'll have a way better system. I cringed. Did you cringe? I cringed. I I was cringing. That fatherless behavior, it's, I'm still thinking about it. And that guy sh shoving that bottle up his ass. Up his asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.